Mimi uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IABC sasa imo kwenye mizani hali inayoibua hisia kali miongoni mwa Kenya kuhusu maandalizi ya uchaguzi baada ya maafisa watatu wa teknolojia wa kampuni ya Smartmatic International BV wanaofanyia kazi na IABC kukamatwa na baadaye kuachiliwa hili limeibua mjadala mkali siasani huku kila upande ukidai kuna njama ya kuhitilafiana na uchaguzi Daniel Karioki anaelezea yanaowakumba wana IABC saa chache zilizopita tume uchaguzi na mipaka IABC imekuwa na kibarua cha kushawishi wa Kenya kuwa hali ishwari na kuwa hapana jambo la kuatia hofu baada ya tukio la Alhamisi katika uwanja wa ndege wa JKIA wafanyikazi watatu wa kampuni ya Smartmatic ambayo ilipewa zabuni ya teknolojia itakayotumika kupeperusha matokeo wa kikamatwa katika uwanja wa ndege wa JKIA IABC kupitia mwenyekiti wake wa Fula Chebukati pia barua kwa vyombo vya habari amedai kuwa maafisa hawa walikuwa wakihadaiwa inasemekana kuwa watatu hawa ambao mmoja ni wa Venezuela walikuwa na vifaa vitakavyotumika kwenye uchaguzi ujao badiko ya kuweka kwa ile mfuko utambeba kimskit naye ili ionyeshe ya kwamba hii kimskit inaenda tumkana polisition hii na hii ingine inaenda nyeri na zinakuja hivyo kwa sababu hatutaki wakati tunasafirisha hii vitu ziwe mixed up we were not notified of such an import before and to provide necessary security and escort subsequently investigation have revealed that the stickers are bona fide property of the IBC and part of the election related material hata hivyo watatu hawa waliachiliwa maafisa upelelezi wakisema kuwa maafisa waliokuwa wamewakamata wamekuwa wakizungumza na maafisa wa IABC is nothing fishy even you hata kama ni kwako ni kazi yako unafanya ukifanya hivyo tu so we are working for Kenyans and as a result of this confirmation this morning I've issued instruction that the suspect in custody to be released and handed over to IBC. Hata hivyo huenda kuachiliwa kwao kwa sheria kuwa hali ishwari ila hilo limeibua hisia kali miongoni mwa Kenya na wanasiasa. Kikosi cha Kenya kwanza wanadai kuwa azimio kupitia serikali wanaohada maafisa wanaotumika kwa maandalizi ya uchaguzi. Their unlawful detention raises fundamental questions about the outgoing government's commitment to midwife a free fair and democratic election there's a scheme to disrupt elections there's a scheme to manipulate elections there's a scheme to harass and intimidate not only kenyan electoral officials and staff but even foreigners who have been contracted they are employing state agencies in all forms and manifestations to subvert the process of delivery of a free and fair election mlengo wa azimio umekosoa tume ya IEBC i have confidence in chebukati i know him ingawaje saa ingine ujui kama anacheka ama ana anakasirika but we want him to deliver we want chebukati and his team to deliver for once i say for once a credible election lakini malumbano yanapoendelea ni dhahiri kuwa kuna sehemu ambapo kuna hitilafu kuhusiana na maandalizi maswali chungu nzima yakisalia bila majibu ni kwa nini maafisa hao walifika nchini na vifaa vya uchaguzi bila kuarifu kuwa kulikuwa na vifaa hivyo kwa nini IEBC likosa kuwepo kuwapokea maafisa hawa licha ya umuhimu wa vifaa walivyokuwa navyo na ni nini haswa haja ya vifaa hivi kuletwa vidogo kifahamika umuhimu wake Daniel Karioki KTN News